It's a really special feeling to be able to represent your country. I'm representing Europe, and this is very big, and it means a lot. We're back with our coverage of the 8th Junior Ryder Cup. Before we move to the afternoon mixed four ball matches, we'd like to showcase one of the beneficiaries of the 2012 Ryder Cup Outreach Program. The Ryder Cup Junior Academy was developed based on recommendations from past U.S. Ryder Cup team captains and provides aspiring young players an opportunity to experience an elite player development academy while targeting those who may not have the means to attend. For all who take part, it's an experience they won't soon forget. Over the course of three sessions in Port St. Lucie, Florida, the Ryder Cup Junior Academy has offered lessons on golf and life to nearly 150 young men and women. They've gotten a chance to learn from Ryder Cup legends like Billy Casper, Dow Finsterwald, Hal Sutton, Lanny Watkins, and two-time U.S. team member Dustin Johnson. And these men have been inspired in turn by young players like June Conti. The journey to define oneself is constant, evolving, ongoing. At age 11, June Conti played for the first time at Carnegie Hall. Music was her passion, her focus. But in the summer of 2011, all that changed. June was invited to participate in the inaugural Ryder Cup Junior Academy. That week, she learned about the history of the Ryder Cup, received instruction from PGA professionals, and was inspired by former Ryder Cup players and captains. Oh, she came back a totally different child. I mean, it was like I wasn't sure I had picked up the right kid at the airport. Yeah, totally focused knew what she wanted to do and she said to me you know this is what I want to do and I'm I'm gonna put the time and effort in and give it my best shot. I liked the game and I loved it before but just like the experiences and this passion that I felt from the coaches and the teachers and just everyone there was it was amazing. It made me realize I want to play college golf I want to play the sport for the rest of my life. Balance is among a golfer's most critical assets. A senior at renowned Miss Porter's School in Farmington, Connecticut, June splits her focus between golf, music, and academics, constantly striving to achieve success in all three. Our culture doesn't promote that, so our culture, particularly our athletic culture, really um, promotes specialization and a highly focused, and for a girl to be able to um, be as determined and disciplined to practice as much as she does in all three of those venues and to, to, to achieve excellence is, um, is extraordinary, extraordinary. June's focus, her sense of purpose, have been tested over the years. Her father suffers from cerebral palsy, is completely deaf, and has a progressive neurological disorder. He's never heard her play music, only occasionally seen her play golf. But the passion she exhibits the talent she exudes is unmistakable. He's told me before, he looks at like the expressions of other people and their faces, and it's just like, yeah, he is really proud of me. And same with my mom. It's totally worth it. Like, for the opportunities, like from Carnegie Hall to the Ryder Cup Junior Academy, it's just so, I'm, I've been so blessed with what I've been given. One day, a player coming through the Ryder Cup Junior Academy just may earn a berth on the Junior Ryder Cup team. 